Hello, and welcome back to my Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we had uh, kind of a massacre on our hands. Um, well, we started off the episode with losing Zite to a trainer's Audino, who got a critical hit with secret power. And then uh, later on in the episode, fighting the first gym trainer, we lost two of our Pokemon, Pale the Poliwag and our newest addition that we had just gotten in that episode, Polymer the Timpole. So here's what's left of our team, almost cut in half. It's really sad, but yes, I, I instituted a slight rule change in my level limit. I am allowing all my Pokemon to be five levels higher than the gym leader's highest level Pokemon. I know this is a little sketchy as far as fairness and stuff, but I have four Pokemon going in against six for the gym leader, so I think it's fine. Also, um, while training, um, while training, Prune learned uh, Crunch. I taught it. I taught him Crunch instead of um, instead of Rock Smash because even if Rock Smash is super effective, it would have the same base power, and it also has a chance to lower accuracy, or it also has a chance to lower defense. So I figure I'll just uh, go with that attack. It, it'll be it'll be just as well, and it'll do better against other other enemies later on in the game. So anyway, let's go in. We still have at least one more gym trainer trainer to fight before we actually get to battle Lenora. So that's gonna be fun. I'll lead with Video because he seems to be the best equipped. Um, so let's um, pick up where we left off. Let's talk to this kid and see. Yeah, so we need to find a book called Nice to Meet You Pokemon. Um, let's find... let's find one. Children books. Sweets for Pokemon. I don't want to read that one. I want to read... is it this one? Nice to Meet You Pokemon. Yes, I'll read this book. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He was... he is with a small brown Pokemon. Ooh, what's this? There's a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader, Lenora. I had four memos. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now, this is the first question. Q, what is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Hint is, on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now try to find it. Well, there's kind of a trick here because the trainer rosters were switched up a little bit. I'm trying to remember. I remember I fought that Spinda who murdered my Pokemon, but he had a Pokemon before that. I forget which one it was. I know his third Pokemon was an Eevee, but he had another Pokemon before that, and I don't remember what it was now. Um, but I think we have to fight a trainer anyway, so... Well, I actually, let me... Let me check, check this first. The Biology of Patrat. Um, let's try it. I think that's what it- I think that's the right answer in the regular game, so yes, okay. As I thought, that question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Question. Flame burns inside its body and gives off smoke while, from its head while it runs. Okay, yeah, somebody might be reading it. Okay, so the trick here is that you think it's- there's like a book about Tepig and you think it's a Tepig. Um, but it's actually about a train. Yeah, see, with Tepig, it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. Yeah, slightly different. Okay. The answer may not be a living thing, Teehee. So I guess, um, I think, because I think we would have fought her otherwise. I guess we got out of fighting her, which in this case, I'm fine with. Let's talk to this one. Flame burns inside its body, yada yada. Structure of a locomotive. Yes, that is the correct answer. And, yeah, I have to battle. Okay. Please don't destroy me. Four Pokemon! Holy cow! Furret. Alright. I'm a little nervous because I know Lenora's Furret has Thunderbolt, but let's try Swift. I guess I could... Oh, start with X Defend. I was gonna say I could have use Detect to see what it was going to do, but she was just going to use X-Defend, so I guess that's fine. I'm using a special attack. And another X-Defend. I guess that's... Um, she's a scientist, so that's pretty characteristic of scientist trainer class, I guess. K. 
cast form. Hmm. I'll stay in, I guess. Let's try... Swift. It's got Ember. Okay, good to know. I don't have anything weak to fire since half my team is water types. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. I'll try one more, though, because, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot this cast form can do to me. Although, Tackle, that was not too shabby. Alright, um, I think I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch into Shred, I guess. Shred's got good defense. She can take a Tackle. Uh, and he's gonna use Water Gun. It's not gonna be very effective. Yeah, it does a decent chunk of damage still because, yeah, Shred doesn't have great special defense. Took that tackle pretty well, though. And just barely didn't knock it out with that, unfortunately. Tackle... Ooh, that wasn't even a critical. I guess that tackle was doing more than I thought. Cast form is a force to be reckoned with. All these unexpected Pokémon... Okay, Porygon might have electric attacks, so I'm gonna go in with Flub. I mean, all these unassuming Pokémon, I mean, Audino and Spinda in the last episode, and now Cast Form. This is tough. Needless to say. Alright. Let's try to confuse it. Okay, it worked good. Now all it has to do is hit itself. Now, by the way, everybody, I am considerably higher leveled than a lot of these Pokémon, and they are still doing good chunks of damage to me. Good, it's still hitting itself. So I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, again, most of my Pokémon are unevolved. I mean, technically Flub is evolved, but it's evolved from a baby form, so it's actually now in its basic form. Video's evolved one stage, which is good. But yeah, my other Pokémon are in their basic form, and a lot of these Pokémon are either Pokémon that don't evolve, so they're fully at their fully evolved stats. Um, yeah. Let's put Prune in. Yeah, or their... Or their fully evolved Pokémon, like Delcaddy here. And Furret. Um, depending on... Prune's attack, physical attack is a little higher than special attack. I think that'll make Acrobatics and Scald do about the same. Depending on which defensive stat Delcaddy has better, but I think I'm going to try Scald anyway, just because of that chance for Burn to do extra damage. So let's do that. And it goes for Fake Out. I should have guessed. Let's try this again. Also because it's better to use a special attack against that Delcaddy in case it has Cute Charm. And got the Burn, which is great. And it used Attract anyway, so it doesn't really even matter if it had Cute Charm. But that's okay. I think this burn will knock it out by the next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And yeah. Okay, double slap. Missed, I guess. Okay, the burn didn't knock it out. It'll definitely knock it out this turn, though, so... Come on, prune. Yeah, that's alright. And it's down. Okay, good. Okay. That is done. Alright, I guess... Yeah, let me read that book now. Bookshelf General Studies, The Structure of a Locomotive. Flames burn inside its body, and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. By using steam power, the more you know. There's a memo. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I'd expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. Q, if you heat up a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? The hint is on a bookshelf closer to the entrance than here. Okay, um... There's not another trainer to fight, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. So, it's probably here. Sweets for Pokémon. Poffins? Oh, no. Sweets by heating berries in a- Yeah, Poffins. Poffins sound delicious, by the way. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Now, this is the last question. Q. From the bookshelf, move two backward, one to the left, two forward, one to the right, and move one backward. Now, where is it? The hint is, find it by yourself! Alright, um, let me just try it. Let me read these instructions again, just so I have this down. Okay. Two backward, one to the left. Two forward, one to the right. And one backward. Um. One, two. 
one, two, one, two, and one back. I, it's like, I feel like it's the same place. Or is it... Let me try this one more time. Unless it means two bookshelves back. Two back, one to the left, two forward, one to the right, and now one back. Oh, do I have to fight this girl? I think I do. Alright, if I'm gonna have to fight that girl, I wanna heal. Sorry. I do not want to take any chances. I think- I feel like that question fools me every time I play this game. I've only played a few times through black and white. But... I seem to remember getting fooled by that every time. But yeah, I, I guess it is the bookshelf, so we do have to fight that girl eventually anyway. I thought we got out of it, but no. Alright. That does make more sense, actually, than what I was thinking with the steps. But anyway. Now that I've figured it out, because I are smart. Um, let's go this way. I think it's a little shorter. Yeah, there we go. Back to the museum. Alright. Let's try this again. Okie dokie. So, I believe this is where we want to go. That makes sense, I guess. It's the only bookshelf left. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? I sure hope so, because I just want to get it over with. And not die. Four Pokemon. Wismer. Not terrible, I guess? It does no uproar, though. Although I do have Detect, so that can at least be useful for something, maybe. Detect and Roost. I don't know if I'll be able to make... Okay, well, fine. You could just Swift and one-hit KO it. I am A-OK -okay with that. Alright, Snubble. Let's put in Shred. She's my most defensive Pokemon. Yes, of course, in Generation 6, Snubble got changed into a pure fairy type, but now, up through Generation 5, it was still a normal type. It's interesting, though, because there's really only one physical fairy attack, Play Rough, and Snubble is a very physical attacking Pokemon, and making it pure fairy just seemed weird to me. Well, if there aren't even more than one physical fairy attack, and it's not even fantastic, it's okay. It's an okay attack, but it's not perfectly accurate, and for the amount of base power it has, it's not fantastic. So it seems strange, like, I think they could have done a bit better with Snubble by making it normal and fairy, but I don't know, I guess that's their choice. Maybe, maybe in future games they'll come up with some better attacks for Snubble and Gramble and give them just a better moveset. Hopefully, I mean, they eventually gave Flareon a slightly better moveset, even though it take it took several generations. Alright, Iggly buff shouldn't be a problem. Fortunately, this girl has all unevolved Pokémon. And two baby Pokémon to boot, so... This is not bad at all. Lenora's gym, on the other hand, of course, will have all fully evolved Pokémon, so that's gonna be fun. Now I need to go back and heal again. But I have to read the last book first. Yada yada, Pokemon Biology of Tepig, yeah, we knew this. Memo. You managed to get here, well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym Leader Lenora. And click. There is a switch under the book. Secret door, secret door, secret door. Okie dokie then. Yep, wow, a hidden staircase. But now it's time to go heal again. So let's do that. Now this battle is, again, supposed to be a double battle. 
I don't know if it'll actually end up being a double battle because some of these Pokemon lineups have been different than what the documentation says and like the last gym battle was supposed to be a double battle or a rotation battle and it ended up being just a normal single battle. But in the event that it is indeed a double battle, I have to think about who I want to lead with. I think video is good because video has two attacks that can hit both Pokemon at once. I think that's going to be helpful. I think Prune would be my next best bet. I could have them kind of work together. Um, video steadily taking out both Pokemon while Prune tries to burn them. I think all of the Pokemon that Lenora uses are pretty have pretty much physically based movesets, with the exception of that Furret, which knows Thunderbolt. So when Furret comes out, I might need to make a quick switch into Flub. Again, in the event that it is, in fact, a double battle this time. We will see. We will see. Uh, this is so nerve-wracking. I don't know what'll be worse, either, because a double battle is gonna be tough. Taking on two Pokémon at once, especially if they gang up on one of my Pokémon. Ugh. But then a single battle could be iffy, too. But we're a little overleveled, so maybe we can do it. My team of four Pokémon taking on Lenora's team of six. All right, let us face Gym Leader Lenora. Welcome. The director of Nacreen Museum and the Nacreen Gym's leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokémon you've so lovingly raised. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Look at that full team. Okay, it is going to be a single battle. That might be a good thing. Also, I'll be taking Intimidate from this Hurtier, I believe. Yep. But Video is going to be using special base attacks, so I am fine with that. Let's Swift. Okay, good. Work up. All right, well, you shouldn't get a chance to use any attacks because I'm just gonna use another Swift. Now, the main thing to watch out for here is that all of her Pokémon also know Retaliate. So once I've knocked out a Pokémon, I have to take a hit with Retaliate, with doubled power. In that case, I think... Ooh, Buffalant. Uh, this makes me nervous. But Shred is pretty much my only real hope against a heavy hitter like Buffalant. So... Alright, Shred, come on, you can do this. And it's at level 22. It is at level 22. It is at a higher level than I was anticipating. So, hey, guess what, guys? I'm only three levels higher than the gym leader's highest level Pokemon. They need to have updated documentation for this because I'm, I'm working on outdated documentation, looking up information for this thing, and it's really been bothersome. Now, do I want to go for Supersonic? Actually, you know what? I can protect against retaliate in case he's going to use it. That is actually, I'm glad I thought of that because that could come in handy. All right, let's see what you're going to do. You're going to retaliate? Yeah, it didn't even work. That is good. I need to, I need to remember that. Now, do I want to try to supersonic? I think I do. It could come in handy. You're going to use retaliate again. It still did a pretty decent amount of damage, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to heal, I guess. Just in case, hope it hits itself so I get a free heal. And you know what? I forgot once again to put berries on my Pokemon. That really could have come in handy. And you're going to retaliate again. All right, I'm going to try to heal one more time. That did a little bit more damage. The little variation in damage that each attack can have. Come on, hit yourself. And you snapped out of confusion. Darn it. And it keeps doing more and more because, like the last time, I didn't fully heal with that potion, but... I'm just gonna stall a couple more turns just to see if he does anything different. Alright. I'm going to have to... Let me protect again. And he rock smashed this time. Which could be kind of scary. I think I need to go on the offensive. Stalling is not gonna do so well for me. I could clamp and do a little bit of damage to it every turn. Or I could Icicle Spear and go for the damage now. Let's just Icicle Spear. Alright, yeah, he's going for that defense drop. 
which is scary. But I didn't get the defense drop, so that's good. And also, since I'm not faster than it, revenge shouldn't be something that I have to worry about, hopefully. Okay, that didn't do fantastic damage, but I'm gonna protect again. I don't want to run out of protect, though, because I'm gonna need that against future retaliates, but... If there's anything I need to use all my resources on, it is this Bufalon. This is probably, by far, her scariest Pokémon. Well, I mean, Furret is probably scary, too, because of it knowing Thunderbolt, but at least Furret is not quite as bulky of a Pokémon. Okay, got the defense drop. That is not good. I'm gonna stay in one more turn with this Icicle Sphere here. And then I'm gonna have to come up with some other idea, I think. I don't know. He might be out of Retaliate. I forget if Retaliate only has 5 PP. Yeah, I should- I should- I think I can stay in. But I need to heal again. Uh, I hope I don't end up wasting all my healing items on this Bufalon. Ah, Super Potion! Darn it. I should have seen that coming, though. I think I'm gonna Clamp. Okay, so that's gonna whittle down its HP a little bit. I am going to protect. And of course it only goes for Rock Smash that turn. Okay, now I'm gonna heal. Use just a regular potion. Okay, so this isn't too bad. I don't think it has anything more much scarier than that, so I'm gonna Icicle Spear. Ooh, this is getting... getting scary now. Come on! Okay, Clamp. Ah, uh, not... it's definitely... yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be enough. Okay, just take a deep breath. We can do this, unless she has another healing item. Which she might, but I gotta heal too. Okay, she didn't use it. That's good. Ooh, that aerial ace. Alright, but Clamp is still working, so that's that's good. If I knew Clamp would would work for one more turn, I'd just protect, but I I can't take that chance because And that's the second defense drop. I've definitely I'm definitely gonna switch out after this. Okay. That big buffalo bull is down. Alright, Watchog. That thing's got Super Fang, which is lovely. I gotta switch into video so I can detect. That's pretty much my best chance for shutting down Retaliate. If I shut down Retaliate, I'm pretty sure I can handle everything else on her team. Just that Furret is gonna be a little questionable. Let's use Swift, see what this does. All right, a critical! Way to go, video! Thank you, video. All right, B-Barrel. I kind of want to use Prune because it's he's got cut, but I definitely need to absorb this Retaliate. So let's detect. All right, good. Moody. All right, what's he gonna do? Special attack rose sharply. Special defense fell. Okay, that is a signal to me that I need to use Swift and stay in with video. It doesn't have any special attacks, so I should be fine. This Swift might do enough to knock it out now. Let's see. Ah, so close. But he's gonna go defense curl, so that's good. I basically got a free turn. That is fine. This is working out great. Okay, what's gonna go up now? Evasiveness. And accuracy fell. Well, thankfully, I have Swift. So that is not even a concern. Okay, so who do we have left? We have two Pokemon left now. It should be Stantler and Furret. Let's see. Audino. Interesting. I told you my documentation was out of date. I gotta watch out for this Audino. Man, those... thing killed Zite. And oh, it just goes for workup. Dang it, this is now... this is now scary. I need to try to nip this in the bud before it, it gets out of hand. Come on, video. Get that odd no. Oh, now it retaliates. Okay, but that was okay. I can swift again. Get a crit or something. No. Another retaliate. Come on, video. Okay, I can do this. Just got a swift. 
Okay, now question. Will she have Furret or Stantler? Or something else as her last Pokemon? Wants to learn Taunt. Ah, uh, no thanks. I don't want- <laughs> I don't want these Pokemon attacking me anymore. Ooh, Chinchino. So yeah, it's not even Furret. Okay, I've got to- again, I'm gonna try to deflect a potential Retaliate with- with Detect. And then I'll have to figure out what to do. It probably has skill link, so I gotta watch for that. Okay. I could roost. I have- I don't know for sure it's gonna be faster. Ah, uh, but Super Potion won't heal me up fully. Well, neither will roost, I don't think. So, let me Super Potion. And it's gonna retaliate again, so let's see, what'll this do without the boost? Okay, that wasn't horrible. Uh, let me roost first. Let me see if that'll get me up to full health. Oh, it's faster than me. Well, good to know, dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, let me potion up. I know this is a little bit underhanded here, stalling it out of its retaliates, but... I feel like- I feel like I'm the underdog in this situation, and I need to do whatever I can. That did 10 more HP than usual. Alright, I'm gonna detect. I think it'll have one more retaliate after this, though. Let's go for it, though. Come on, video. Rock Blast! No! No! Oh, you faked me out! It survived! I'm alive! I'm alive! Okay, I'm alive! Okay. Oh, jeez. I thought for sure. Because I thought for sure that Chinchino had Skill Link, and it was just gonna get me with that Rock Blast. Oh, video's alive. You do have super luck after all. Okay. My only hope right now is Prune, so that Chinchino does not have Skill Link. It probably has Technician or something. That was good, because otherwise... I mean, actually, Video could have easily died anyway if Rock Blast just... Oh, critical! Oh, this Rock Blast might kill my team anyway. Okay, only hit two times. Thankfully, you're only hitting two times. But I don't know what to do now, other than hope for a miss. Wait, let me, let me just check speed. I highly doubt that Prune is faster than Video. And even then, I don't think any of my Pokémon are faster than this Chinchino. 41... 43, yeah. Yeah, Video was my fastest Pokémon. So, I'm gonna try healing... Oh, this is risky. I've gotta try healing, because... Yeah, if I switch into anybody, I'm not gonna get a clean switch, and then I won't be able to get a hit in. Okay, so I mean, I can hope that it misses. Icicle Spear. Well, that's not going to be very effective, so... It has all these multiple hit attacks, and it's not even skill length, which is interesting. Now, the question is... Are you going to go for Icicle Spear again, because you're weird? Or are you going to go for Rock Blast, which could actually knock me out? Well, if I heal, though, I might not be in as good of a position as I am right now, as far as my hit points go. So, Prune, I gotta take this risk. Gotta survive whatever she throws at you. Ah, oh, Rock Blast. It missed! Yes! Thank you, Prune! Now we just gotta knock it out, knock it out, knock it out! Yes! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! Oh my gosh, that was... Wow. Aw, oh, man. What emotional moments there. Oh, jeez, I'm just... Oh, I can't even... Yeah, we got the Rectangle Badge. Ah, oh, and Video surviving that Rock Blast. Because even without Skill Link, that could have hit more than twice. And if it had, I would have been dead. Let me just let this sink in for a moment. That was crazy. Okay, anyway, receive the basic badge from Lenora. Retaliate. Which, I don't know if I'll be able to make good use of that. So, eh. Does a lot more damage if an ally fainted the turn before you use it. Yeah, it's an attack that I probably don't want to have to use, but it might come in handy to, like, revenge kill. But, oh look, it's time for some plot. Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! That was a strange way to word it. Well, I guess let's, let's let, let's go up and let this cutscene play out. Ah, uh, man. I can't believe I survived. That was amazing. 
Okay, time to do some plotting. No, you wait. Enough fooling around. What's this? So you've come, gym leader. We, Team Plasma, claim the museum's dragon skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. To show we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Nothing up my sleeve, and abracadabra. Plasma! Poof. They're like ninjas. And they just stole Dragonite's head. What's going on? Um, alright. Well, things are getting a bit heated now. Yes, um, we do have to go after them. But I'm not gonna do that in this episode. I've had quite a jam-packed episode. I've had enough excitement for one episode, I think. Oh, look, it's Berg. Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Anna. This is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's Castellia City's gym leader. Yes, you're next on my list, Berg. Seem hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Oh, look, it's Bianca. Come and join the party. Oh, hi, Anna. What's everybody doing here? Oh, and Charon. It's a... Uh, the whole gang's all here. Anna, is there some kind of problem? And these two are? Oh, yes. Allow me to introduce you to my best friends, who I had to be introduced to. Okay, then. Let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Everyone. Charon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. I've never met you before, but I totally trust you to take care of our other valuable exhibits. Are you raring to round up our robbers? Ooh, what alliteration. Fabulous. Oh, oh, Anna, take this with you. Fennels gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Okay, nice. In Pinwheel Forest, I guess there's a lot of dropped items or invisible items, I suppose. Hey, wait for me. Okay. Well, first things first, I want to heal because, as I've said, that was an intense and emotional fight there. We managed, after the great massacre of Episode 9, we managed to not lose any Pokémon against Lenora. So I had some pretty amazing luck this episode. Um, let, let's just see, for fun, who can learn Retaliate. It's still a decent attack, even if, um, yeah. So Flub can learn it. Let's see, Flub has Rollout right now, which is kind of a risky move. I don't know if Retaliate will be more useful, though. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait on that. Let's buy some supplies. Which, okay, by the way, seeing as this documentation has been inaccurate now for... Um, for two gym leaders in a row. I'm gonna have to see if I can find, like, more up-to-date documentation. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do as far, as far as, as far as what my level limit is going to be. I, I don't know, I'm gonna do some research. I'm going to guess, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go, go by the current documentation if I can't find any more up-to-date documentation. But then I'm gonna do the five levels over thing. Because, clearly, you know, the documentation was underestimating the, the Pokémon's levels. So I'll, I'll do that, I guess. Okay, guys. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. And if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos, please be sure and subscribe. I really appreciate that as well. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokémon Volt White Nuzlocke.